Uh, this is going to be very short, you're pleased to know. Thank you all for being here today. Thanks for raising your voices. Uh, I'm the leader of a bill to shut down Guantanamo, and I'm going to talk about that in a second. But I especially want to thank all my fellow Iowans who came all the way here on a bus to be here today. Thank my Iowans. My friends, today there is something that we need, that we need more than any Patriot Act. We need acts of patriots. We need good Americans to stand up to George Bush and Dick Cheney and to say, no, you will not torture in our names. You will not throw people into prison without habeas corpus. You will not destroy our shining city on a hill. Now, you know, I've been reading the Washington Post series on Dick Cheney. If those of you who have just been here, they've just started a whole series on Dick Cheney's advocacy of torture, his, his dismissive attitude uh, towards laws that get in his way. Uh, he knows no boundaries. Now, he doesn't even acknowledge that he's a part of the executive branch. So, so we're going to have to rewrite all our civics books. We now have four branches of government. We have the legislative, we have the executive, we have the judicial, and we have the Cheney branch of government. But I want you all to know that I'm especially concerned about the prison at Guantanamo, which has become synonymous with abuse and lawlessness. As I said last month, I introduced a bill to shut it down. My bill would, my bill would transfer the hardcore terrorists to Fort Leavenworth and the others, the great majority of those at Guantanamo, would have their legal, legal statuses resolved once and for all. Now, some of you who are a little bit older may remember, the younger ones may not. You can read it in your history books, but this is personal with me. 37 years ago, this next month, as a congressional staffer, I played a role in taking the pictures and exposing the tiger cages on Khan San Island off of Vietnam, where ordinary Vietnamese civilians were being held incommunicado. They were tortured, killed, all with the full sanction and knowledge of the U.S. government. There are disturbing parallels between that secret Vietnamese prison on Khan San and Guantanamo. In both cases, the prisons were deliberately set up on remote islands, out of sight, out of the way of nosy reporters who might want to find out what's going on. In both cases, detainees were not classified as prisoners of war in order to deny them the protections of the Geneva Conventions. In both cases, detainees were deprived of any right to due process, judicial review, or a fair trial. And in both cases, when the abuses were exposed, the United States stood stripped naked in front of the world community of hypocrisy, betraying its ideals, and violating international law. Even President Bush sees the problem. He said, and I quote, no question, this is what President Bush said, no question Guantanamo sends a signal to some of our friends, provides an excuse to say the United States is not upholding the values that they're trying to encourage other countries to adhere to. Well, Mr. President, you finally got something right. That's exactly. And Mr. President, we have the perfect solution. Mr. President, tear down that prison. And while you're at it, stop spreading fear and paranoia. Stop betraying our ideals and values. We can defeat our enemies without becoming like them. And so we have a simple message to President Bush and Vice President Cheney in his undisclosed location, wherever that might be. Our national anthem still says we're the land of the free and the home of the brave. And we're not going to let anybody take that away from us. Thank you for being here today.